It's a blizzard out there, guys. What better way to pass a snowy afternoon and to clutter some lipstick? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kimmy. This is my attic. And yes, as you can see out that window, there is a blizzard out there. If you are in the Long Island area or the tri-state area, I think everybody's getting it. You know the snow is coming down and it is coming down hard. It's been a long time since we've had snow like this, but when you see this video, actually a couple days from now, it will be long gone. But for right now, it is snowing pretty hard out there. And I thought what better way to pass the day than to declutter some makeup. So I am continuing my declutter series. We did eyeshadows, we did bronzers. I will link those videos down below. I have a declutter playlist. Today we're doing lip products, lipsticks, lip balms, lip glosses, everything basically lip related. Now I am not like a big lipstick person. <laughs> so how do I accumulate so many? Well, first of all, I wouldn't say that my collection is that big when it comes to YouTube standards. On YouTube, you've probably seen my collection times 10 easily. But for me, like for just like, you know, someone like me, who's not like a professional YouTuber, I have, a lot. I have a lot more than I probably should. How did I accumulate so much? It's not really like eyeshadow palettes. Eyeshadow palettes, they legitimately make me happy. They help me through some rough times. We, I've talked a little bit about this. Uh, lipsticks, it's not really the case. I think more or less the way I accumulated so many lipsticks is just simply the fact that whenever I try new makeup or a brand or a new brand to me, whatever the case may be, I always pick up a few lip products just to test them out, just to see. And I think that's, I just... Over the years, <laughs> this is what I have, I don't know. So we're gonna dive in here. I'm not even 100% sure. It's been a long time since I went through my lip products. I'm not even 100% sure what we're gonna find. But you will see that I am very, very much more into lip balms and like glosses than I am into lipsticks. I'm gonna assume that I have a lot more of that. So we will see as far as how much I'm gonna be getting rid of, um, I'll probably be getting rid of probably like half, I would say. I am looking to get rid of some stuff. How much, how many lipsticks can you use? And I'm definitely not using that many of them. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I have. If you like declutter videos, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. You know we talk about it all in the attic. Grab yourself a drink, a hot chocolate, something stronger. It's five o'clock somewhere and join me. Let's go to it. All right guys, so we're gonna start the program out with lip liners of which I have 17 and that's actually more than I thought I had I didn't think I had that many also I will tell you that the theme you're gonna see here is nudes and neutrals <laughs> you're gonna see a lot of stuff the same color I'm making that prediction I'm 100% sure there's a lot that's gonna be very very similar because I tend to buy different brands of lipstick in the exact same color Anyway, guys, we'll start off with the onesies, what I have one of as far as lip liners first. Sorry, yeah, I actually shut the camera off. Anyway, so the onesies of what I have one of. First off is this. This is Clinique. This is, hold on, let me try to focus on the camera. Okay, that's a little better. So this is the Clinique Quick Liner for Lips. Again, it's just neutral. This is probably my newest lip liner. I bought this when I did that video with all the Clinique products, the Sex in the City. There's nothing really special, ultra special about this, um, but there's nothing really that I don't like about it either. Just a nude lip liner. So we'll keep this one for now. Next one is definitely a special one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Sheet. I think, honestly, this is in Pillow Talk. I think these are the best lip liners on the market, my personal opinion. Um, I would actually like to pick up more of these. This one is not a full-size one. I did have a full-size one, or I do have a full-size one, but I have no idea where the hell it is. It is somewhere up here in this attic, but yes, this is Pillow Talk. Um, I would like to pick up more of these lip cheat lip liners. I think they are really, really nice on the lips. I really do like Charlotte Tilbury's lip products. There's a clear difference, like when using them, you can definitely tell. Okay, then I have a NYX lip liner. There's nothing wrong with this lip liner. Um, I actually purchased this because I didn't want to spend, I wanted a red lip liner and I didn't want to spend a whole lot. And yeah, there you have it. So I'm going to keep this because every once in a while, you do want to do a red lip. 
And I actually think that these lip liners are pretty good. Milani is my favorite drugstore lip liner, but um, yeah, I think the NYX ones are pretty good. Okay, and finally I have a Pat McGrath lip liner. This is in the shade Living Legend. Is that the shade? This I would have never purchased myself. It came in like a Valentine's Day collection. It's a little too dark for me. Like, I, I'm i never going to wear this. So this one I am going to declutter. I think the formula is nice, but again, I, this is not something that I would have purchased on my own. I mean, I did purchase it, but it came in like a collection. I think it was a Valentine's Day collection from last year. And, you know, this was just the color it came with. So I am actually going to get rid of this one. So that is one down. Okay, next up we have Milani. Like I said, Milani, they're my favorite drugstore lip liners. They remind me a lot of the MAC lip liners. I love MAC lip liners, and I love MAC lipsticks. I don't think they're as good as the Charlotte Tilbury ones, but they're a close second. I really, really do like the formula. I know nobody talks about MAC anymore, but um, yeah, I like them. So this is Milani um, Nude. I'm not surprised at the shade. <laughs> This is Nude 3, and what is this one? This is probably a Nude 4. No. <laughs> this is, um, 4. Yeah, all natural. <laughs> nude and all natural. I'm telling you, I am a woman of habit. But I think that these are really, really good drugstore lip liners if you are looking for something along those lines. And then next up, I have ColourPop. I have three of the ColourPop lip liners. Ooh, they're a little dirty. Sorry about that. Um, I have O oh Snap. What are these called? They're uh, lippy pencils. I have O oh Snap. I have another round, and I have what's this one? BFF. One of these is broken. I think. Yeah. Okay. I think we can go ahead and <laughs> declutter BFF. I think this one has seen better days. I think that the the um formula on these, the formula on the lippy pencils, is quite good. I think they're pretty good lip pencil. I don't think they're as good as the Milani ones, but they're pretty good. Let me see this one. This one is Oh Snap. Um, you know what? I think I'm just going to get rid of all three because this kind of, I like the Milani one better and this kind of looks like one of those nude ones. Um, let's see. There's no, I don't know why I'm spending this much time on lip liners. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna keep the Milani one. I'm gonna declutter the ColourPop one, and then I have one more ColourPop in BFF. And you know what? I'll keep one. I'll keep one ColourPop lippy pencil. I'll keep BFF. Okay. So I've decluttered three so far. Um, what's next? Oh, Kylie. Okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> when I first got into makeup, you have to understand. When I first got into makeup a few years ago. Everything, not everything, but I would say that Kylie Cosmetics was hitting its peak and it was super, super popular. If you remember like pre-Ulta, pre when Kylie went to Ulta, um, it was popular. It was almost, I would say, almost hard to get. And she was known for her lip, I think still even today, she's kind of known for her lip products. And I will say, I think her lip products are like out of the collect her collection, they are the best. Okay, this, this has to be bare. This has to be bare without even, I can't even read it. It's so old. Yeah, bare. Okay, yeah. This I have, <laughs> I can't even open it. All right, yeah. This I have used, a, you know what? I'm going to declutter this one, but I might. I'm not even going to lie. I might replace it. I lived in this shade bare, this and the liquid lipstick, for a freaking long time. I think I wore it like every single day, as you can see, but I could definitely use another one. So like I said, I might replace this. I'm, I might, but for now, we can go ahead and get rid of it. Charm, this is another one. Oh my god. Yeah, all of these have seen better days. Actually, this probably just needs a sharpen. This probably just needs a sharpen, but these are so old. I really think that I could just like, well, maybe I'll keep this one. There's still a lot of products in here and just like, it's not like falling apart like Bear is. So maybe I'll just get a new, a new Bear. I'll keep this one. Okay. This is forever and always. Um, yeah, I think I can get rid of this one. This looks a little bit like BFF that I kept. So I'll get rid of this one. And I'll also get rid of this one, I think. This is, um, what is this? 
All Natural. That's what it's called. This one is a little different. This pink. Maybe it was like a something. Um, God, they're like all the freaking same. Okay, I guess I'll keep this one too. I have like 10 lip liners and they're all the same color. <laughs> okay, finally we have MAC. I have four MAC um, lip liners. These are my favorites, to be honest with you. I'm not going to declutter this. I have Oak, I have Strip Down, I have Whirl, and I have Soar. These are like classics. Um, I really, really like the MAC lip liners, so I am keeping them. Okay, so we kept 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and we got rid of 5. Not too bad. I think if I was going to buy any more lip liners, and I might, I think I would, like I said, pick up some Charlotte Tilbury ones. I might replace that Kylie one. Actually, I probably won't. I'll probably um, just get some more Charlotte Tilbury ones. But yeah, so for that, that's that. Let's move on. Okay, up next we have liquid lipsticks, of which I have 22. Again, this number is bigger than I thought it was, which means in general my lip collection is bigger than I thought it was because I know like with glosses and like lip balms it's going to go up. So yeah, I have 22 liquid lipsticks. I can definitely get rid of some here. Let's start with the onesies. Okay, I have quite a few actually. I have a lot. I just have one of. Um, all right, so we can go ahead. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with Sigma. So, okay. I am not sure. What color is this? New Mood. Okay, yes. I have used this. I wasn't crazy about the color. I actually didn't purchase this. It just came like as a sample with something that I per with like something that I bought. I'm assuming an eyeshadow palette. And yeah, I didn't care for the color. I'm not sure if I cared for the formula either, but I will tell you right now, I am not a liquid lipstick person for the most part. It's usually I don't, like, there's not a whole lot of them that I like. I'm kind of picky, so um, yeah, that one is a no. Um, this one is by Milani. Oh, Milani, okay. I used to have more of these. I guess I only have one now. Here's the thing. Liquid lipsticks, you can keep them oh so long, you know? I mean, I think definitely regular lipsticks you can keep longer. I know this is super old. Um, I think Milani has a great liquid lipstick formula. I do. I think they have a really nice liquid lipstick formula, but I know this is old. I'm going to get rid of it. Otherwise, I would keep it. I think it's really good. I think they're really good. Um, Vivid Lip Paint. This is by Give Me Glow. This is also something I think I got as like a sample or like a freebie or something, but I also didn't like this formula. Um, I don't know, guys. Like I said, I'm not a big liquid lipstick person. Most formulas I do not like, so I'm going to declutter this one also. Oh, Glam Light. Remember when I had this? This was from the Happy Hour collection. How cute. It looks like a liquor bottle. This is in rum. This one's really nice. I actually do like this formula. I have a gloss too. I am going to keep this one. I mean, besides sheer cuteness, I do like this. I do like this formula. I like this color. I am going to be keeping this one. What's next? Oh my God. This, I love this. I absolutely love this. This is Sexy Mother Pucker by Soap and Glory. This is also kind of old, but <laughs> I have to say, this is this a lipstick or is this a gloss? It's bare enough. Well, no surprise there. Um, I don't know. I, it's in the lipstick box. I think it is a lipstick. Oh my God, this is such a great formula. I love Soap and Glory. I think they are such an underrated brand. And this does plump your lips. I mean, it doesn't plump them like crazy, but it plumps them a little. And I really like this. Although, like I said, I can't remember if this is a lipstick or a gloss. I'm pretty sure it's a lipstick. Whatever it is, I'm keeping it. I remember loving it. And I'm keeping this one too. This is the Wet n Wild Nudie Patootie. <laughs> I love this formula. Do they still make this? Liquid cat suit. Yeah, that's the, I think that is the, like, um, brand of the lipstick, Liquid Cat Suit by Wet n Wild, and this is in Nudie Patootie. This is such a cute lip color. I mean, yes, it's, it's like, it's like a step, it's like a step after natural. It's very, very, very neutral, but I don't know. This is a, these are the ones I go for. I think this is a really, really good formula. 
so I am keeping that. That was so cheap too. Wet n Wild, it's such a cheap brand, like very, very reasonably priced. I think I've mentioned it before, but this summer, probably starting around June, I'm kicking off a drugstore thing. We're gonna do a lot of drugstore on this channel. I have like something I'm planning in my head. All right, next up, speaking of drugstore, this is Maybelline. Superstate 24 color. I can't remember a thing about this. I don't remember using it. Oh, this is what, oh, okay. I know. This is one of those where the, it's got the liquid lipstick on this side and then it's got the bomb on the other side. Do you remember when NYX did this and it was like all over TikTok, like they were the first ones that ever did it? They weren't. This, these things have been around forever. But I find that a lot of these things on TikTok that like take off has like, um, you know, viral. They've been around, like other brands have done it before. So I'm not exactly sure what makes them go crazy. I don't remember liking this or not liking this, to be honest with you, but I can tell you that it's probably super old, so I am going to declutter it. Um, yeah, this has to be, this has to be old. Like, I can't even, this doesn't even strike a memory. It's that old. I have no idea. I probably picked it up randomly one day, and it's going, it's going as randomly as it came. Okay, these two are also goners. This is Lip Caramel by 100% Pure. I love 100% Pure. I talk about them on this channel a lot. They are a natural makeup brand. They focus on fruit pigmented and vegetable pigmented makeup. And I love everything about them except their eyeshadow and this fair liquid lipstick. I think it's so thick. It is just such a thick formula. Um, yeah, Lip Caramel. That makes sense. Goodbye. I did not like that formula at all okay oh talk about a blast from the past this is Kat Von D <laughs> this is an old one. Oh god this is Ludwig I loved these liquid lipsticks but I know this is old because the bottom says Kat Von D it doesn't say KVD the the um the packaging I think is the same I think the packaging is pretty much the same and even the colors are the same. Oh, it's so pretty. It's such a pretty color, but this is old. I have to get rid of this. This is so old. Like I said, liquid lipsticks, there, there's a difference, I think, between keeping regular lipsticks. They just last a lot longer. Liquid lipsticks, they have a shelf life. Anything liquid in makeup has a shelf life. So, I mean, I know that's old. I'm getting rid of that. I'm getting rid of this too because I don't like it this is the lip injection lip liquid lipstick not the lip gloss the lipstick by Too Faced I never ever like Too Faced um liquid lipstick I don't like this I don't like the melts I just don't like their formula so I am saying goodbye what else okay oh this last one I'm keeping. Actually, this one is very, very good. This is from the drugstore. This is Color Stay Satin Ink by Revlon, and this is in the shade um, your go-to. Yeah, because, because it's neutral, it's nude. It's like your go-to. Um, this is really, really nice. I actually really, really like this liquid lipstick. I like, ooh, I love the shade. And this stays on. It has a nice, really, really comfortable formula. It's not drying. Most liquid lipsticks, I find them to be so drying. Like, I can't stand them. But this one, this is nice. If they still sell this, Color Stay Satin Ink, it's not that old. I think it's like a couple of months old. So I'm sure they still sell it. Yeah. I would highly recommend this formula by Revlon. Color Stay Satin Ink. This is a good one. This is a really good one. I don't like it as good as the Soap and Glory. I don't like it as much as the Soap and Glory, but I'm not sure if they still make those. That's kind of pushing it. That one's kind of old. Um, all right. I have some, oh, this is the one I was talking about by NYX. Shine Loud. Is that what this is called? Yeah. The shade is Global Citizen. I didn't want this one, um, but when I bought it, I, it was like, it was going viral, and I think this was, like, the only shade I could get. So this is the lipstick, right? No. This is the gloss. 
So it's like a liquid lipstick, and then on the other side, it's a gloss. And when they came out with these, I'm telling you, you would have thought they revolutionized this. I mean, it was everywhere. You couldn't even get them. They were so, they were sold out. This went viral when it came out. I mean, it's nice. It's not bad. I'm not crazy about the color, but the formula is actually pretty good. So I will keep this, but they certainly weren't the first ones to do it. And I probably won't be the last. Okay, as far as this one, though, I am getting rid of this. This formula I don't like. This is the NYX Lingerie. Um, I believe, like, the whole line of NYX Lingerie liquid lipstick is, like, different nudes. I think. I think that's why they call it lingerie. Get it? Um, this formula I remember not liking at all. So I am going to declutter this. Speaking of formulas, I don't like, I know most of my, most of my liquid lipsticks are going. Most of them I absolutely hate. I don't know how, how I ended up getting so many. Okay, talking about ones that I hate, I absolutely hate this formula. And I know, I'm probably the only person on earth. This is the Lux formula by ColourPop. I like the glosses. I absolutely hate love the lip oils. I think they're some of the best lip oils on the market, but as far as the liquid lipstick formula, I absolutely hate it. This is in the shade, I don't even know. Can you even? <laughs> That's the shade name, can you even? No, I can't. Goodbye. Um, they're just drying. To me, they're drying, and this is in Buttercup. Um, yeah, goodbye. I don't like these. And then this one, oh god, here I go. This is Disney. This is Lux Liquid Lip, but this is in Beast. That's that's the name because it's Disney. Um, let's see. I hate the formula, but I love. I'm like a Disney. Okay, I'm never. Am I ever going to wear this? No, I'm never going to wear this. The color is too dark for me, and I don't like the formula. I was keeping it because it's Beast. <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm going to get rid of this one too. I'm going to get rid of that one too. And then I'm left with this from ColourPop. I don't like this either. This is their lip stain. This is a different formula. This is Fresh Kiss in the shade Ice Pop. This is fairly new. Um, it's a liquid lipstick lip stains. They just came out with these and they launched them again with their Valentine's Day collection. And for some reason, I think I bought one. I think I bought one. I'm so stupid. I hate it. I don't like this. I don't like this product. I've used it before, and I think I have another one. I don't even... See, this is why I have to do this, because I don't even know what I have, and then I see it for sale, and I actually buy it again. This is so bad. All right, Kylie. We're ending it with Kylie because I have the most. Once again, okay, when I got into makeup, this was popular, and I have to say, I like her liquid lipsticks. I don't find them as drying as, I mean, they're drying. Listen, all liquid lipsticks are kind of drying. But I don't find her formula as drying as some. So this is, oh, this is bare. This might be close to empty. I know these are kind of old. I know. Yeah, this one probably doesn't even have that much in it. You know what? I'm just going to keep this. No, I might keep Charm, too. <laughs> what is this? This is Coco K. Okay, this can go. This can go. I barely used this when I had it, when I... And this is Charm. Okay, I'm going to keep Bear and I'm going to keep Charm because I really, really love these. So I'm going to keep them. Coco K can go. Goodbye. And, whoops, sorry. These, I think, were the blushes. These were different. Oh, no, this is also, why do I have this twice? This is also Coco. Is this the same thing? This is, oh, no, this is Allergic to Bullshit. Coco by Kylie Cosmetics. This was, like, Kylie, but, like, a different like line, I think. I don't know. I'm getting rid of this. I don't even remember this. And then this one, this is the lip blush. I don't like this. This formula, I don't like. I find it incredibly drying. It's not the formula that her lipsticks are. So this I am getting rid of. Goodbye. So, um, yeah, out of those, what did I have? I said I had 22. Hold on. Let me count these real quick again. Okay. So for liquid lipsticks, I ended up getting rid of 14 and I kept eight. So that's pretty good. Okay. Next up, let's do regular lipstick. All right, so I counted 36 lipsticks. Um, again, more than I thought, but I have to say, I do prefer regular lipsticks to liquid lipsticks, so I'm not overly surprised here. By the way, I apologize if you hear any snowblowers outside, but <laughs> 
Everybody's got their snowblower out right now because it looks like it is starting to stop a little. So I guess they're getting like a jump on it. So if you do hear something, that's probably what you're hearing. But okay, let's get started again with the onesies. First up, this is definitely a keeper. Oop, out of focus. Okay, so that's a little better. This is Fenty Beauty and this is Makeout makeout break. I really, really like the formula of this lipstick. It's really, really nice. It's again, <laughs> once again, big shocker. This is a super nude color. Oh my God. It's barely even showing up, but I don't know. I just love this formula. I think it's so pretty. Yeah. This one's really nude. This one's like barely seeable, but I love it. Like I said, formula is great. So Keeping that for sure. Keeping this one too. I spoke to you guys about this one. I think when I did my Get Ready With Me when I was in my hotel in Atlantic City. Um, this is Kacha. Oh, it's upside down. Okay, this is Kacha Airheart. These are so cute. They are in the shape of a heart. You know, Kacha always has to have some kind of theme. And yeah, they're really, really cute. Are these still available? If these are available, they're a really nice formula. This is in the shade Sweetheart. And it's so cute. I might be breaking this one out for Valentine's Day. Might have to do that. By the way, well, I'll talk to you guys at the end. Okay, so keeping that. Okay, here's some we can get rid of. Oh, I see a couple. <laughs> I see a couple we can get rid of. Okay, first up, Smashbox. This is Harley Quinn. Is that the name of it? Um, It might be. It might be the name of it. It's Suicide Squad. Smashbox the Suicide Squad. This is the release that wasn't. <laughs> I talked about this a few times. Smashbox released a few things um, for Harley with Harley Quinn and like as a theme. And I don't Smashbox never advertises anything, I'm telling you. I had no idea about it. I did purchase it because I like Harley Quinn, but this color is way too dark for me. And to be honest with you, this formula is horrible. It's not that good. It's very drying. I'm, I don't like it, so I can go ahead and declutter this. And it's a shame because this is kind of new. I've worn it a few times, but yeah, this, the color is just Harley Quinn, and um, I don't like it. I don't like the formula, so I am decluttering it. Um, oh, gosh. <laughs> Here's one. This is KKW. Oh, my goodness. This stuff is so bad. What is the... This is just... I think the shade is pink. Is the shade pink or is the line pink? I don't even know. It doesn't matter. This stuff is the most drying lipstick you will ever use in your life. I used this when I, the shade's not terrible. Shade's not terrible, but the formula is so bad. It is so bad and it smells. It smells like, like, like really cheap, like kid makeup. <laughs> I don't even know, like a crayon. It almost smells like a crayon. It's so bad. I used this in the video that I did with, this, with the scariest makeup around Halloween. It was the lowest rated lipstick at Ulta and there is no doubt in my mind why. That's a no-brainer. That is goodbye. This one is Pat McGrath. The packaging is so cute. This is not a full size. This, I think, came with that same lip kit. Um, this is Flesh 5, but I feel like I didn't like this for some reason. Yeah, it's probably just a little too dark for me. I don't see myself wearing this, so I, I'm going to declutter it. I can't really say about the formula. I don't remember it. Um, but the color is just not, it's not a color I would wear, so I am going to declutter it. Um, what else? Oh, Nabla. Okay. I've never tried this. I actually got this in a mystery box. I got a Nabla mystery box over the holidays. Um, I am going to be trying some of the products on camera. I'm going to do a whole thing on Nabla. This is in the shade Platinum. So I want to try it because I want to try the formula. This might work. It might work. It might be a little too dark, but I do want to definitely try the formula. So I will be holding on to that for now. Okay, Jouer. I think I'm saying this right. This is in Rose. This is another one I do not like. Is that, the, is that how you say this brand? Jouer? I do not like this at all. And it's broken. Wait. It doesn't go down. <laughs> it's 
stuck right here. It also smells kind of weird and it's not that it's old, it's fairly new. The formula was a little bit drying. I just didn't like this at all. Packaging is really cute, but I'm getting rid of this one. Also, goodbye. Okay, next one is a keeper. This is a Natasha Denona. This is in I Need a Nude. <laughs> um, I Need a Nude Amorosa? I don't know, but this came out with the Valentine's Day collection last year. I ended up purchasing this. Um, I think they had a whole set. They had this, they had the blush, the highlighter, and the um, small eyeshadow palette. And I love it. Sorry, I just knocked a whole bunch of crap over, but that's okay. I actually really like this formula. I like the formula. I like the color. Um, yeah. I like the packaging. I think this one is really nice. So I am for sure keeping this one. Okay. What else? What else do I have one of? I have a lot of onesies. Okay. So this is Huda Beauty. This is in Angel. Um, I think I tried this when I did my Huda beauty try on and um, I remember really liking it. This is a little bit more hydrating than a lot of them. I know. What did I tell you guys? I knew this was going to happen. I knew all the colors <laughs> were going to be, if not exactly the same, then very, very similar. And I was, I was kind of right so far. So, but yes, I am keeping that. Um, also keeping this. I really like this. This, oh no, this is not the one. Okay, never mind. This is Chanel. Oh, I do like this though. Okay. So I don't know why I actually purchased a Chanel lipstick. I probably picked it up the same time I picked up that um, bomb thing I was showing you guys. But this is actually nice. This is in the shade Adrian. And uh, this formula is actually very, very good. I don't know if it's worth the price. I don't even remember how much these were. But I'm sure if it's Chanel, it is on the pricier side. But yeah, I actually really like this shade. Again, it's your typical nude shade. It's like a nudie pink. Um, that's the shade. It's a nice formula. I think Chanel does have a nice lipstick formula. So we will keep that. And this one is talking about nice lipstick formulas. We have Dior. This is Rouge. Uh, Rouge Dior. Is that the color? I don't know. But I actually do really like this lipstick. <laughs> it looks exactly the same. I know. I know it's pretty much exactly the same as the Chanel one. Is it? It's a little different. It's a tiny, tiny bit different, but I also really like the formula on this. So I'm going to be keeping that also. Okay. Next up. Oh, never, ever, ever will I get rid of this. This is Becca. This is in... Oh my God. It's also called Bear. This is like the third lipstick I have that's called Bear. Same color. But Becca had such a lovely formula, lipstick formula. They really, really did. And they have like a magnified, not magnified, yeah, mag magnetic, like, case. I love Becca's lipstick. So we are keeping that. Next we have ABH. This is in the shade Buff. I used to really like these lipsticks, and I feel like I had more of them. At one point, I had more of these lipsticks, and now I'm down to this one. I'm not sure what that'll happen to them. But um, it's a little bit darker than the other ones. This is nice. I, I do like um, ABH's lipstick formula. So we will keep that one. What else do we have here? Okay. Th this is my last onesie. This is by 100% Pure, but this is their regular lipstick. So I don't like the lipstick caramel, but this is their um, pomegranate fruit lipstick, I think. Is that what this is? Um, and this is in Buttercup. That's the shade. I think this is my second my second lipstick in the shade Buttercup. Yeah, Fruit Pigmented Pomegranate Oil. So it is Fruit, pig, fruit Pigmented Lipstick. It's nice. Again, same shade I always wear. Formula is very good. So we will keep this one. I really like these lipsticks by 100% Pure. I mean, I only have the one, but it's... It is a nice formula. Okay, so I probably have kept enough lipsticks. Let's see what I can get rid of. Um, oh, no, I did get rid of a few. I got rid of four so far. Okay, oh, I know I'm keeping these, so let me get these out of the way. These are re relatively new to my collection. I got these at Christmas. These were the Clinique um, lipsticks. I like 
this formula. This was a holiday collection. I think it was exclusive to Macy's, but I really do like this formula. I did a little Instagram video where I tried all of these on. Some of them are a little dark. This is the one I'm wearing today. I'm actually wearing the red one today, but um, I don't think these are new shades. I think these are like, I don't know because I'm not like, uh, that was like the first time I tried a lot of Clinique, but this is a different grape. For some reason, I think that this is like a really, ooh, that is dark, but it didn't go on as dark. For some reason, I think these are like classic shades of Clinique. This is the one I have on today. Um, this is Red Alert. This one is Dramatically, oh, Canoodle. And then these two are grape. Um, a different grape and raspberry glaze. I think the different grape, I have a feeling that's like a Clinique color for some reason. But I actually did like this formula. So I am going to keep these. Some of them are a little dark for me, but I'm going to keep them for now. Okay, what else? Oh, Kylie. I have to have a lot of Kylie's. So I'm not sure exactly what the deal is, but I used to love these. These were Kylie's um, cream lipsticks. She came out with her new line and she doesn't have any cream lipsticks. As far as I know, I think she only does the liquid lipsticks now and the blushes, but she used to do liquid lipsticks. And I mean, she used to do cream lipsticks and they were quite good. This was Infatuation. They were actually really, really nice. I don't know why she stopped making them. This was butterscotch. I mean, they're kind of the same colors I always have. This one, this one I think is kind of light even. <laughs> even for me, this one's kind of light. Okay, and what else? Oh, this was for Christmas. This is Santa Claus is coming to town. I remember that, or coming to town, whatever. And that was from the holiday line. This one I'm going to declutter. I'm also going to declutter butterscotch. I'm going to keep infatuation. And this is creme brulee. I think I liked this one too. This is creme brulee. I'm going to keep infatuation and I'm going to keep creme brulee. So I'll keep two. I'll get rid of two. Um, yeah. Okay. So we can get rid of those two. And then I have two MAC lipsticks, which I'll probably keep because I have to tell you, I really like MAC lipsticks. I know nobody talks about them anymore, but I think they have a really, really good formula. This is an all natural. <laughs> I love this color. I love this color. I think this is a little bit, yeah, it's a little, it's a little cooler toned than the other ones, but I think this is like a classic shade, Act Natural, I love it. And then I have Try Again, also by MAC. Um, that's a little bit warmer. So I'm going to keep them both, because I do like MAC lipsticks. So I'm going to end up keeping them both. Okay, what's up next? ColourPop. Okay, ColourPop, I have two. I have this one, which I know is fairly old. This is still crazy. I don't even remember using this. Did I ever use this? Um, it's kind of nice. It's kind of a nice shade. Maybe I'll try this. I'll keep this one. I think I like ColourPop's. I think I like this formula, like ColourPop's regular lipstick formula. And then I have the designer collection, the Princess in Ariel. I am definitely keeping this one because it is Disney and it's Ariel and it is kind of pretty. So I'll keep that one also. So I ended up keeping two ColourPop lipsticks. Actually, I only had two when I kept two. Um, what the heck are these? Lancome. I think these are Lancome. I have two. I have no idea how I got two Lancome lipsticks. If I had to guess, I would say they came in some kind of Macy's bag because I know for a fact I've never actually purchased a Lancome lipstick. Not that I have a reason, I just know I have it. This is in nude. Um, this is nice. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I mean, this is something that I might use. I might as well just keep this. And this is in the new pink, but it's sheen. So I might be able to wear this. I'll keep this one too. I don't remember even ever trying them, to be honest with you. Okay, Too Faced. 
Oh God, do you remember these? They don't make them anymore, that I know. Okay, this first one, this was doll face. This is old, this is incredibly old. I think I've had this even before. Even before I was into makeup, I did every, every once in a while pick up a lipstick and I feel like this is from those days. Like, I feel like this is super old. And, um, oh, it's cute. But I'm going to, <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm never gonna wear this. I'm never gonna wear this and I think it's very, very, very old. So we're gonna get rid of that. Then there's these. I know these are old and I know they don't make them anymore, but oh, they were so good. These were the All Naturals. Is that what they were called? Too Faced? I think they were called All Natural. This is an overexposed, and this one is in Skinny Dipping. And these were a nice formula. I don't like the new formula of lipstick that Too Faced has. I just don't. Um, I think I am going to keep these. You can't get them anymore. Um, so I won't, like, actually, oh, sorry, I keep knocking things over. I won't actually use them on this channel because you can't get them anymore unless Too Faced decides to bring them back, which I think they kind of should. I think they should. I think these were really, really good. But um, I'm going to keep them just for myself. Okay, and then I have a Buxom lipstick in Heartthrob, and I swear I had two because I bought these around when they had the 21 days of beauty because they were on sale. I don't know where the other one is, but I like Buxom's formula. I'll keep them. I know this is so boring. They're all nude. All right, and finally I have Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. Of course I'm keeping. I really, really like um, Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I think there is a difference. In some things, I don't think there is, but in the lipsticks, I think there is. And then I have this little one in Pillow Talk Intense, I think. This had to be like some kind of sample or something because of the sheer size of it. Am I ever gonna wear this? This is kind of dark for me. I probably won't, but I don't know. Yeah, I might keep it for now. I might keep it for now because I do really like this formula and just see what happens. Okay, so let me count that up one second. All right, so I ended up keeping 28. I got rid of seven. I thought I would get rid of a little bit more. Um, hmm. Let's see. You know what? That's that's okay for now. I don't have a whole lot of lipstick, so for now it's okay. Maybe eventually I will get rid of some more, but for now it's okay. Okay, let's move on to lip glosses because that's going to be a big one. Okay, guys. So surprisingly, I counted 27 lip glosses. I means I actually had more lipstick. So that's kind of surprising. So um, yeah, this video has gone way over what I thought it was gonna be, but the lip glosses are pretty easy. I kind of basically know what I'm gonna keep, what I'm not gonna keep, because I'm more familiar with them. Like these, like lip glosses I tend to wear a lot more. So first up guys, oh my God, this has to be one of the worst products that I tried in 2021. I think I had it in that video. Um, I'm not trying to zoom it. Okay, I'm trying to focus it. This is Makeup Revolution Lip Gloss in Harley Quinn. Is that the shade? I don't know if it's the shade, but it was from the DC Comics collection, and this was Harley Quinn. This is the most drying, weird. It's like drying and wet at the same time. It's such a horrible, horrible formula. That I am so getting rid of. So getting rid of. Okay. Elf, I really like Elf Lip Gloss. This is the plumping, lip plumping gloss. It doesn't plump that much. It plumps a little bit. And this is in Peach Bellini. I like this one. So I am keeping this one. Anastasia Beverly Hills, St. Tropez. I don't remember buying this. This had to come in like a, what's it called? Had to come in some kind of bag or like free gift or something. Yeah, this is something, this is the swatch I just did. This is something I am never going to wear. Um, I don't really wear these, what do they call these? Like, um, almost like metallic lip glosses, whatever. So we can declutter that. Um, what's next? I'm gonna try to go a little bit quicker. I got this, this is a Juvia's Place lip gloss. I got this in a mystery box this year. Um, I got it in the winter or like in the fall, but it's definitely more summery. It's called Island, Island, Island something, I don't know. <laughs> I can't see it. Um, island something. 
but it's uh, it's kind of like orange. It's a little bit orangey. It's not my color, but when it goes on, it's kind of sheer. So we'll try that because I haven't um, used their lip gloss. This one I absolutely love. This is the Lifter, Lifter lip gloss. This is by Maybelline. These are really, really nice drugstore lip glosses. This is in the shade Reef, but um, yeah, if you've never tried these, I would highly recommend them. I don't know why, like, I'm... Okay, so now I'm in focus. So yeah, I would highly recommend these lip glosses by Maybelline. They are so, so good. Um, again, this was Glamlight <laughs> from the Happy Hour collection. This is the lip gloss. This is in vodka. It's kind of just like a sheer lip gloss, but I do really like the formula so we're going to keep it and then we have rare beauty gloss in nearly neutral oh this is bomb i don't know but this is a kind of a nice formula too i like kind of like everything i've tried from rare beauty i know a lot of people don't but i haven't tried like um i haven't tried like the um base products or anything but i have tried like the blushes I just picked up the bronzer. I can't say I tried that, but I do like this. Actually, yeah, I guess all I've tried is the blush, and but nobody seemed to like the blush, but I did like the blush, and I really, really like this too. So I'm going to keep this. I wouldn't mind picking up more of these. I think the formula is really, really nice. Um, Buxom. I have two by Buxom. Actually, I have three. I have three by Buxom. I have, these are like the lip plumping glosses. Um, they plump a little bit. I don't think anything plumps as much as the Too Faced, but they're nice. This is Pumpkin Latte and Spiced Apple Cider. This was a fall release. I don't think this year. I think the year before when they um, released these lip glosses for the fall. They're really nice. And then, of course, I have their standard lip plumping gloss in Kimberly because I am that kind of person. I had to get it because it was my name. But I actually do really, really like it, too. And like I said, these glosses, they feel really nice. I think Buxom... In general, they have a really, really, really good lip formula. Okay, so now we're moving on to some of my favorite. Like, most of my lip glosses I love. I don't really have anything that I don't like because I wear most of these. So, to be honest with you, I think I'm just going to be getting rid of the two. Oh, no, I can definitely get rid of this. I don't even know what the hell this is. Shimmer Down by NYX. I can tell you right now, I am never, ever going to wear this. This has to also be something that somehow came for free because I wouldn't... Yeah, no, I do not see myself ever ever <laughs> purchasing anything in this um color definitely not maybe no. no 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 i'm not i would not be wearing that one so that one is a goner but i will keep by nyx this is the butter gloss i do like the butter glosses not enough to have purchased that advent calendar but i think nyx does have a really nice lip gloss formula in the butter gloss okay so Moving right along, um, Katcha. I love Katcha's lip gloss. I have two of them in Gloss Shot. I think that is the name of them. And this is in the shade, um, one is in the shade Pink Drink, and this is in the, sh this is Milk Tea, and this is Pink Drink. And I got these in the Katcha Superstar box over the holidays. It's a holiday release. It might still be available. It's really nice. I liked that release a lot. Okay. So then my other, I mean, these are kind of like all my favorite glosses, I'm telling you. I love all of them. This is, this is by Tower 28. Tower 28 has really, really beautiful glosses. If you have never tried them, I would highly recommend them. This one is Shine On. It's like the gold one. It's, it's kind of, it's, I use this a lot and it's kind of getting old, but, um, it's so, so nice. Is such a great formula and then this is in the shade fearless I love tower 28 glosses they're amazing fancy glosses I love them too we'll fly through this because like I said I'm not gonna be getting rid of any of these I have fussy and fancy gloss fancy gloss is another one of my favorites I have hot cocoa and I have is this glass slipper yeah glass slipper this is just like the clear one love all the fancy glosses sorry um, if you've never tried the gloss formula, it's so good. And then I have Charlotte Tilbury glosses. I have her, her gloss in Pillow Talk. All right, these are both glosses in Pillow Talk, but I think that one is like the regular gloss. This is like the regular gloss, and then I think this is like a jewel, like the jeweled gloss. It's like a little bit, sorry, I think it's a little bit more shiny. 
but they're both in Pillow Talk. They're both really, really nice. Um, I'm not sure if they're worth the money for a gloss, but I have to say they are nice. And then ColourPop glosses. I have three of them. I like all of ColourPop glosses. Um, they were like compared to Kylie glosses when Kylie, I don't even know if Kylie still does glosses. I guess she does. But, um, when these first came, when they came out, they were like compared to them. Like the formula was really similar, but honestly, I thought Kylie's glosses were not as good as this formula. So I have Fantasia. Um, the thing with these glosses though, they have like a brush. Like you see, like they have like a brush, like they don't really have like a wand. Um, Kylie's glosses used to have that too. They used to have a brush. I don't have any more. I used to find them sticky. I don't find the ColourPop ones sticky. I really like this one. This is Fantasia. And then this was from the Frozen collection. I don't know if it has a name. Free Spirit. This is really nice too. And then this is my newest one. Um, very good. This is a great like summer, summer kind of gloss, summer color. So keeping them. Of course, I have my Lip Infusion Lip Plumpers from Too Faced. I have the original, and then I have the um, this one. Okay, so they came out with color, like ones with like colors. This is in, like the original has no color. Then they came out, this is in Soulmate. So this formula I love. I didn't like that they had, they came out with the liquid lipstick lip plumpers. The liquid lipstick lip plumpers, I absolutely hated, but the glosses I love. I have this one and I have the original. They sting, like they do sting. They sting a little bit. It's not terrible, sorry. <laughs> it's not terrible, but they do sting and um, I, they sting because they work. They do plump your lips, they absolutely do. And finally, I have the Pat McGrath lip glosses. This was definitely last year's Valentine's Day collection. These are so beautiful. I absolutely love, oh, what's happening to my camera? Okay, I absolutely love these. I don't know if this is her regular gloss formula or if she just um, came out with this for Valentine's Day, but they're so cute and they're still available on her website. I was on her website the other day and I saw them. This is such, they are such a beautiful, besides being crazy cute, they are a beautiful, beautiful formula. And they come together. They still have this little set. Um, they're really nice colors, great formula. I love these. And yeah, so I'm keeping pretty much all of my glosses with the exception of those three. So not quite a big declutter there, but there you have it. All right, guys. So at this point, I'm calling it. I am. I, I surrender. I'm calling it. <laughs> I had way more lip products than I thought I did. I, I don't know. I don't know how this got so out of hand. I didn't even go through my bombs. I didn't go through my oils. I have a miscellaneous category. So I think at this point, we just have to finish it. And I have to admit that I have to make a separate video, another video. So this is gonna be another two-parter. Another two-part declutter. What can I say? <laughs> so we have part, this is part one, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, liners, and what else did we do? Glosses. And then part two, we'll do oils, we'll do bombs, and we'll do miscellaneous. Yes, like I said, I have a miscellaneous. That won't be as long. I don't have as much left to get through, and if I had planned this out better, I probably would have put my glosses in there too, but I really thought I could do one video, but yeah, it's not going to happen. So let's just end it here, and we will have a part two. Guys, I wanna thank you so much for joining me today. Like I said, if you like declutter videos or you like this one, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to my channel because we talk about it all in the attic. Speaking of which, guys, Valentine's Day week. I am not a huge fan of Valentine's Day, but I am a huge fan of Valentine's Day makeup, and I have something planned out for this channel. So the week going into Valentine's Day, we're going to be doing like a lot of videos. I have something, I have something pretty special like brewing in my head so I hope you guys really enjoy it, and that will start Monday the 7th, like the week going into Valentine's Day. I'm going to be uploading a lot of videos, all kind of Valentine's Day makeup related, or Valentine's Day related. Because like I said, not a fan of Valentine's Day, but a big fan of the makeup. So I hope you really enjoy that. That'll start February 7th, and of course, I'm going to be doing the part two. I'm not exactly sure when, but that will be happening. 
Again, thank you so much for joining me. And until then, remember, take good care of yourself so you can take care of someone else. And if you did get stuck in the snow, I hope you stay safe. Well, again, when you see this, the snow will be past. So just remember, like I said, take good care of yourself, guys, and I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.